Hi all. Well, here's one of the, the first card for this week. And I'm a little bit excited about this one because it's a bit of fun. It's made out of two envelopes. And the reason I've made them out of two envelopes is that envelopes have pockets. And so if you want to pocket in your card, here's a quick and easy way to do that. And there are, you can have one, two or three pockets in this card. It's your choice. So I'm going to, I have here one card which actually has one pocket. See that it says relax, the best is yet to come. And there's one pocket on the inside and there's room to write there. And I've even put a nice little bit on the back. And this particular paper is a discontinued paper from Kazaz, but it fitted well into this theme. And this paper had six sections on a one 12 by 12. And I just cut out around each of those six sections and they fitted perfectly on there and left me two over for another card. Now this card has three pockets. And this is a current paper called Nature Lover. And the writing is also on one of the paper. Now I didn't cut it all out of one paper because I used the writing of one and that and this and then there's two different backs so I've used um, an assortment of papers in the same range so there that has those two large pockets on the inside and a small pocket on the inside and I've used this as a tag which makes this card reusable because once you've written on the tag if they take the tag out they can then put another tag in and write and use that card again. So we're going to, we've got a, a card with one pocket and a card with three pockets. We're going to make the card with two pockets, but the instructions I put up on the file will cover all three cards, which are, there's not, there's only one little bit of gluing that makes a difference. Okay, so I'll put these over here and show you what to do next. First of all, you've got an envelope and you've got a paper now on this paper if you have a paper that's all the same all over or only has one corner with a decoration you can get four pieces this size your standard envelope size from the one piece of paper what you would do, and we're not doing any measurements here, so what I'm doing is I'd put that down there and draw around the edge. I'd put that one that way, draw around the edge. Then I'd put this one this way, draw around the edge. Then put this one this way and draw around the edge. And I've got four full sheets for the inside and the outsides of my card. But the paper I've used is from the Classique range. And this one has a picture on this corner and a picture on that corner. So I really want to put that on the front cover. So I've drawn around that edge. And because the picture is over in this corner, I have room to cut one full one out there and I've drawn around that that's where I'm cutting now I'm going to turn my page over and I want this full key across that way so you see I'm not infringing on any of the um, the drawing there it stops there this goes up there and I can't go that way there because I'll run into this here. See that line there? So I can only get a partial page. See, I've got that much missing, a partial page, but I'll show you what I do for that. All right, so now I've drawn around these, so I'm going to now cut around these. Of course, a big guillotine won't fit inside the um, under this. So I'll just cut cut these. So I have four pieces, but one of those pieces is a little short. 
this piece. It's a little on the short side. You see that? It doesn't come all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut another piece the same width as this piece out of the leftovers. And that's going to give me my little pocket on the inside. So this is all I need and my scrap. So let's now join the envelopes together. First of all, you open your envelope out and you put one flap inside the other envelope. And you make sure that the fold lines for the flap are directly over the top of each other so that when that fold's closed, your edges all meet. Get your edges all meeting. Now, here's the trick. If you wanted just one pocket on the inside, then you just take a little bit of glue and you put it down under this edge here, just a little bit, not too much. You don't want it all oozing out and you glue that one down like that and that has now successfully glued those two envelopes together but if you wanted this one open and that one open instead of doing that you would bring this open you would lift this section and you would put a line of glue down here like that stick that there then put a line of glue along this flap which you would do anyway this is part of making both envelopes and you would just stick that down like that okay now because we've only got one flap we're going to put the little pocket on this side so here's how it goes First of all, you can have this exactly the full size and show no, none of the pink at all, except, no, none of the pink at all. All right, but I want to see a border. So what I'm going to do is get my guillotine and I'm just going to cut a little bit off the top here just a small bit off the top and a piece the same size off that side make sure it's okay now what you can do is mark all the others now just check on your card to see if you're happy with the size of the border no i want a bit more off on both sides this edge is a bit uneven i've cut it uneven so i'm going to recut that edge there's so just a little bit of unevenness there not much see not much okay so I'm going to make that a little bit, take that a bit wider. Let's see if that's, if I'm happy with that now. Yes, and on this one I'm going to cut, it's a bit crooked, so I'm going to straighten it up a little bit. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yes, it gives me a nice small border all the way around. And I'm going to cut all the others the same size. So in order to do that, I'm just going to grab each one and decide which edge I want to cut off. And just put a mark. on that edge no I want I want to keep all of that so
So, no measuring, girls. Now, this one was short. So it's only the width. I think I'll have that, that bit. It's only the width we want to keep. We want to lose. So it's just that side only we're cutting off because it was short anyway. And we're going to do the same to this one. And I'm going to keep that edge. Oh, well, I put it on that side. Whichever way I do it, I'm cutting off that edge, that side. There we are. So now I can just put these in my guillotine and they're already pre-marked to the same size as the front piece. Okay, so we've got all our pieces cut, ready to go now. Get all this out of the right. And I'll show you what's next. This is very simple. There's our card. Um, I want the flap on that side with the pocket. I want um, the, the little pocket on this side like that then I'm going to have that on the front and I might put that or that I think I'll put that on the back that way I think I like that that way okay so now it's just a matter of gluing all this on A bit of extra glue in the corners. And get this to sit so that it's got an even border all the way around. Now I might have to stand up for that because I can't really see what I'm doing. There's the front. Now I, I want a notch in this so that people know that they can lift that up. So what I'm going to do is get my envelope maker and I'm going to sit this in the middle roughly. If you just put your fingers either side to see that you've got it roughly in the middle and you've got a notch. The same with this. Actually, I'll re-look at that. If I put that on that side... I like that. I might make the pocket that. Put that in that corner so we haven't got that writing. We've got that nice big blue bit up there. And put this over there like a nice edge. I like that better. So I want the, the loop or the dip there. So I'll put this here again. Sit that in the middle, gauge that it's roughly the middle, and there we are. Now, so this one, we want the glue on these edges here. I just can't see that. There it is. So glue on those edges there and glue along this edge here okay so that we can still lift the pocket it's not sticking the pocket down put that over there like that leave a nice border and that's stuck down but the pocket still lifts now on this side I'm going to stick this down first on all sides. Put some glue through the middle as well. 
and make sure that the top is level. The top edge is level with this piece. And then when we put this piece on, we're going to make sure that the bottom edge is level and we're only going to put glue on those three sides. The dip side has no glue on it. So this bottom is level with that edge. So it now all looks the same size and you have two pockets on the inside. And now no, I'm going to put that one on there that way. quite a quick card to make really and all this paper hides the flaps of the envelope okay so there's our pretty little card all ready to go except for the greeting now so with my scrap of paper I stamped out this greeting and this one is from the classic range from the same range as these papers and it's called today uncut set set of six okay and it has it's hard to see oh there it is there why well, show you that when you can see this today and you've got a choice is your birthday is a good day is a special day I will love you tomorrow and always Okay, and I'm chosen today is your birthday. Now, I always stamp the whole lot. I don't separate all these stamps. I you keep them complete and just cut out the bits I want. So what I've done is I've cut out today and is your birthday. And then all I've got to do is decide where I want to put that. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this... Um, ink uh, I haven't got a dauber with me which is a pity I would have preferred a little finger dauber but I'm going to edge this so it stands out a little bit more this is distress oxide and it's picked raspberry which is matches this quite nicely it'll just help that lift it without me having to add a piece of paper and give it a border and it's the same color as what I stamped this in so there we are now all I'm going to do is mount it with mounting tape or magic mount oh wait a minute I'll get this one as well see where I'm going to put it no I'm going to put it down there a bit further so that's going to go there and that one just go here and there's our little card now I, I think I'd grab a few little pearls or something and, and dot them around there as well you could do all sorts of things with this but there's your card so we now have And that's landscape you could have done this landscape I just didn't think these flowers lent themselves to landscape I thought they were more portrait but that key certainly did lend itself to landscape I could have had the key that way all right 
So that's um, a single pocket, two pockets, and three pockets. And the only difference is where you place the glue, whether it's under the pocket there or in the back there, under the flap. That's the only difference to get two pockets on the inside and how you glue these pieces of paper on. Whereas I made that there, I put glue on the paper and under there I put glue on the envelope. Whereas with this one here, I put glue all the way around there. And on this one, I only put glue under those three sides so that we can get a flap there. Okay. This one, I put glue all the way around on that one. And, um, but left it as a flap there. So there's our three cards for the day. I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I'll have the other card up soon. Bye for now.